guys. I'm so excited to do another palette review. I thrive off of eyeshadow palette reviews, okay? And ABH came out with a banger. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but like I was really, really excited about it. I feel like this palette is an ABH comeback because don't get me wrong, they've come out with some palettes. Well, one, like this one and the purple one that you guys know I like. They've come out with palettes that I've liked, but this is the first palette in a while where it screamed to me old school ABH, but new and modernized and better. And I'm just, I'm really excited about this palette. So this is the Nouveau palette from ABH. I did order this off of the ABH website. It wasn't the quickest shipping. I would have gotten it sooner had I waited for it to launch on Sephora, which it did. It's also available from what I've seen at most Sephora stores if you want to check it out in person before picking it up. But I will have links down below where you can pick up the palette. It is 55 US dollars. Not cheap, but if ABH does a good job with this quality, I'm not going to complain. It doesn't specify anywhere that this is limited edition or not, but they describe it as an all-in-one palette for immediate effort looks from on the go to ultra glam on the ABH website it says that it's inspired by rich hues and duochrome shades of summer dreams think amped up everyday neutrals perfect pops of color ethereal whatever whatever I think it looks like that like I'm excited I see the vibes I'm into the vibes side note as we get close if my base looks a little messed up I filmed my Pat McGrath blush review right before this so I was taking off and reapplying my makeup and then I took off my eye makeup and so yeah my base is a little jacked up but I wanted to play with this palette okay here we go so this is the box that it's going to come in it's just this beautiful green, I love it. And you'll see the palette is made in the USA. You have the colors here, all of that. And then the palette itself looks like this. So you have this textured, I don't know what this is, but you can see it. It's not the old school, you know, velvet that ABH used just a couple years ago. It gets super dirty, so I like that. And then here's the back. It just has a sticker here to tell you where the product's made, 12 months shelf life cruelty free so just in comparison to size this is the most recent abh palette maybe it's not but this is the most recent one i bought the primrose palette you can see that this is shorter than the primrose and then of course comparing it to the abh palettes that we used to go crazy for back in the day this is the exact same size no just a little shorter the same size Anyways, one thing that I do notice is different though. Well, let's open up the palette first. I'm getting ahead of myself. You open it up, it's a magnetic closure. You have a full-size mirror and you guys, this color story. Oh, all my boring babes. Yes, I'm looking at this. I know it's boring, I know it's neutral, but there's something about it that, oof, I had to have it, like without question. This is such a beautiful color story. It probably is dupable. When I look at it though, I'm like, it's just so beautiful and cool toned and the pop of purple just put my name on it. <laughs> now let's compare it to the size of the regular, not regular, but the older ABH palettes that a lot of us are probably familiar with. So the pans in this one are actually bigger because overall this has 1.34 net grams of product. And then the ones that are this size have 0.71 grams of product. And you will see that each pan is bigger. However, the older palettes have 14 shades, whereas the newer one has 12 shades. I would prefer 14 shades, but that's just me. But whatever, I like it. I think the design, all of it, the aesthetic of this, it feels very fresh, but still true to the ABH that we all know and love. I'm also happy that unlike the Primrose palette, like, I don't know, I didn't like these two big shadows at the bottom. I just like the more classic eyeshadow style, but that's that on that. Let's get to the swatches. I just want to dig my dirty little fingers in here. My fingers are not dirty though. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. We're gonna start off with the top four. Wings, Isle, Belle, and Wisteria. Ooh, they feel good. Look at that. Mm, I expected nothing less. Wings is a metallic silver green with sparkling reflex. Isle is a metallic blonde gold. Ooh, I love that. Belle is a metallic antique bronze. That looks really pretty. 
And then Wisteria is a matte pastel lavender with sparkling reflex. And that swatched very well. Then we have Lily or Lily, Hope, Paloma, and Fle. So a metallic rose gold with multi-dimensional reflex. A metallic olive green with gold reflex. A cream ivory with sparkling reflex, but it's matte. Golden peach. Last for Liberty, Peacock, Metro, and Muse. These are the deepest shades. Matte muted hunter green. Duochrome bluish green with pink reflex. Matte rich clay. Then we have a metallic dark chocolate brown. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's, it's earthy. It's fresh. It's ethereal. I'm loving this. I think this is beautiful. You can see it's a really great ratio of mattes, shimmers, and metallic. I'm into this. I love these swatches. Everything swatched really beautiful. Nothing feels like a dud. And I noticed the mattes, ABH is known for their really loosely packed, messy formula. The mattes felt less messy, less loosely pressed. So we'll see how that translates on the eyes. But this formula, it feels like ABH, except the mattes aren't as messy. So let's see, let's get it on my eyeballs. I cannot wait any longer. Feel like testing as many shades as possible today. So we're gonna do two different eye looks. I normally don't like to do this. It bothers my aesthetic, okay? It messes it up. But I just wanna give you a nice thorough review of each shade. So I do have Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer on both of my eyelids right now. We're just gonna go for the gusto. I'm gonna use an Esom V33 and let's see what Wisteria is all about. That's it's that lilac shade. Okay, take a look. A little bit of pickup, but nothing crazy. You know how ABH's whole pan can disappear. Really nice pigment. I mean, it's soft, but yeah, with that, oops, <laughs> with that second coat, it's no longer soft. Okay, we want this to run all the way through, but this would be pretty just as like a one and done shadow. That look is kind of popular now. And let's take a look at Liberty right here. No mess with that. I'm going to put this on the outer half of the eyelid. I'm not going for cute looks. I'm going for making sure that this palette is of quality, but I hope they turn out cute. Okay, so for some depth, I'm going into Muse. Now this is a shimmer shade, as you can see, but it wasn't very reflective on swatch. So I'm just gonna try it in the outer corner to see, because if you want depth, you know, that's the shade you're gonna have to go to. Oh yeah, this is fine. It's maybe not as smooth or creamy as it would be if it was an actual matte, but that gives a lot of depth. That did a really nice job and it wasn't too messy. I do have a little bit of fallout, which I wish wouldn't happen since I have concealer, but it's fine. I'm gonna put a little bit more of Wisteria because it did fade away a little bit. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna take Lily or Lily, which is this beautiful metallic shade. And I'm gonna put this all over the lid. It has some green reflect in here, which is really pretty. It goes really well with the Liberty shade. I mean, this is ABH right here. I can totally tell. Don't even need to wet the brush. I like how this shade has green reflex, so it's going into the green really well. And then let's try some of Peacock right here which is a duochrome shade. Put that on the outer corner. Well, not really, but you see where I'm putting it. I'm leading it into the outer corner. <gasps> wow, this look is pretty. Ooh, yes, I like it. Now let's get the lower lash line. Then for the lower lash line, Wisteria is going down here. Very nice. And then Liberty. I'm just repeating what we did with the matte shades on the, on the upper lash line. And then Muse. And I love that they have Paloma here just to clean up underneath the brow. Thank you, ABH. Okay, a matte cream is so necessary. Do you see how that brightened and cleaned everything up? <gasps> I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean up because as you can see, we still did get fallout. It's not nearly as much fallout, I would say, as it could be 
with using ABH, but it did make a mess. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take my concealer off again and clean this up. I'll do that later. <laughs> We're gonna leave the look here. I want to move on to the other eye. Getting back at it, I wanna use the other two matte shades. So let's go into this shade right here. I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. So we're gonna blend this all over the crease. This is a really nice shade. It has a good warmth to it that is gonna complement all of the other shades in this palette. Blending beautifully. I don't know if you saw, but there's not much kickback with this shade in particular. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use the same brush and we're gonna use some of Metro right here. Actually, take a look. A little bit of fallout, nothing crazy. Tap your brush off to get as little of a mess as possible. The shade has a little bit more warmth to it and brightness to it, but it's not that much deeper than the first shade that we put down, which I'm surprised by, but she's looking very, very pretty. So we're gonna start off with Io right here, this metallic. I'm gonna focus this in the inner corner. Oh, that's a really pretty soft gold. They call it a blonde gold. I'm gonna blend it a little bit higher and that kind of just opens up the eye, just like this. We're gonna fill in this gap, but I want this to be kind of the overarching color. That's nice. It's a little bit more of a shimmer as opposed to a metallic. And then I have to give wings a try because, oof. And that's gonna bleed into the gold right here, filling in this area. It's almost like a silver green. No, that's exactly how they describe it online. It is a silver green. And these greens are gonna pop so pretty against the orange. Any shade, really. They'll pop pretty against the purple, the green. And then we're gonna build, if you haven't noticed. We're gonna go to Belle, and then we're gonna go to Hope. So let's get some of Belle. This one's almost like a dirtier antique gold green. And then the last one, Hope right here. And then I'm probably gonna get some more of Muse. Now, if I weren't testing each of these shades just to see how beautiful they are, not the looks I would create. Also, I wouldn't put four shimmers on my eyelid. My eyelid is too small, but I'm not mad at this look. I'm gonna go in with more of Muse, and this is a shade that really caused a ruckus on my face on the other eye, but it's the best shade for depth. I truly just wish that this was a matte shade. We don't need a shade that darkened shimmer form if it's going to be the only shade that's this dark. Like I like a dark shimmer, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather have a matte shade this dark. Ooh, yeah. That shade a little goes a long way. Ooh, I love this look. This look you can tell I was testing. This one is cool. I'm gonna get a little bit more of Metro because I want some of the warmth to peek through, you know? Let's also get that warmth on the lower lash line as well. I'm going pretty low with it. I'm gonna put some gold under there, but we don't want to lose that warmth in this look. A little bit more of Muse. Then I decided we're going to use Belle in the center of the lower lash line, like this. And then I'm going into Isle, which is that beautiful gold that I'm obsessed with. It's going to meet us around here. Okay, so once we get liner and lashes on, I know this will look a lot better. So let me clean up the under eyes. And I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this palette. So with the lashes and everything put together, here's kind of how the eyes are looking. We have this one right here, which is a Mod Podge of the shades that called out to me the most. And then we have kind of like an earthy glam look here. This look is definitely my favorite, but I can envision so many looks that I want to create with this palette. The last few facts that you should know before purchasing this palette is there are three pressed pigments in this palette, meaning they are not intended for use around the eye area. Those shades are going to be Wisteria, Paloma, and Metro. Very odd. I find it a bit weird that Paloma and Metro are pressed pigments because normally those types of shades aren't pressed pigments, but lavenders normally are. So if you notice that your eyes are sensitive to pressed pigments, keep that in mind. Mine aren't. I don't really care if they're pressed pigments or not. They don't irritate my eyes. I'm gonna use them around my eyes. And those three shades are the ones that are more powdery as well. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, overall, I mean, I am loving this palette. I feel inspired by this palette. I will definitely be using this some more. I will be posting my looks on my Instagram story if you wanna see what other looks I create. And one thing that I'm really proud of about my channel, even though I do these first impression reviews, if you are subscribed to my channel and you follow along my videos, I 
always update you on everything that I try. That's something that I've really worked hard to incorporate in the last few months on my channel. So this will be featured in a monthly palette rankings, probably my monthly favorites. I also do speed review videos periodically. So if you're subscribed and you stay tuned, you will get my finalized thoughts as I continue to use this palette. But I can tell you right now, as somebody who reviews new products every single day, pretty good at telling you the first time how it is. And how it is, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. So just do your face makeup after you do your eyes and I think you will be good. This palette's really great for the neutral glam lovers. You can get really natural everyday looks, but if you're looking for fun pops of color, you have the lavender, you have the green. Overall, I would say you're probably a neutral lover if you like this palette, but I think this is a good way if you're like a brown kind of person, like you only wear brown eyeshadows, this might be a good way to you know, get a little bit more color incorporated into your routine but I love this palette. I think it's really great. I can tell you already it's going in my monthly favorites. Quality 9 out of 10. A little messy I would say with a couple of shades but 9 out of 10. I feel like ABH is back and she's better than ever and I hope we continue to trail down this path. So let me know if you guys pick this palette up. What are your thoughts at the very least? If you have a Sephora near you, go check it out. I think you might buy it though so maybe don't. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one